Let's go rescue that cow from the quarry. Hashtag quarry cow. Oh, yep, pigs are coming out. Come on, quarry cow, come on. I saved a pig from the quarry, I could save you. So, actually, I could probably just grab this pig as well before he falls down there, too. So, let's do that. Come on, pig, you're going to go on the slot, too. Oh, that's it, that piglet, that pig and piglet are dead. Hopefully they don't kill themselves, even though I'm pretty sure their AI prevents them from doing so, but still. Okay, pig, you stay there. Cow, you come over here. Get, get into the thing, come on! Yes, perfect. Alright, grab the lead, alright. And push you into here, come on. Get inside of the thing, you kidding me? Get, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, putting you on the leash. Come on, there you go, fantastic. What's happening? Oh my god, zombie versus zombie! Or is it zombie versus skeleton? What? Oh yeah, it is zombie versus skeleton. <laughs> Zombie's not even putting up a fight, you kidding me? That's embarrassing! Oh, you want to see what's embarrassing? Oh yeah, look at this, dying in one shot like a bunch of losers. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> oh, feels great. Oh, look at that MLG tree. Nice. Okay, you stay in there, pig. You stay in there. Ah, there you go. Okay, let's see. Let's uh, get the cobblestone walls. There we go. All right, we picked up everything. Nice. Oh, someone's trying to kill me. Oh, I see that. Oh my god, you're shooting my cow. Oh, that's it. You've crossed the line now, you dumb skeleton. Wah! Wah! Yeah, there you go. Now you're dead. Now try and shoot my cows when you're dead. I don't think you can because you're a ghost. All right. Oh, he was a skeleton, so... Man, being a skeleton ghost would be so bad. All right. We have... Yeah, we can grab these guys. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to... Okay, yeah, you're still attached to a leash. Okay, that's good. And there... God, no! Oh, that's exactly what I didn't want to happen over there. Ugh. Okay, are all of these guys... Yeah, all of them are here. Okay, that's good. So, if I... Come over here... Try and rescue this pig. Come on. Come on. Stay away from the qual if you stay away from the quarry. Stay away from the... Okay, you guys. They are too far down there. They they cannot be rescued just yet. Oh, wait. Nope. Yep, that, they can. Come on. Uh, uh, come on. There you go. Come on over here. I know the piglet's following its mother. But, uh, okay, we have one... Yeah, we have all the pigs here. Yes, fantastic. Okay. Come on into the pen. Into the pen, pigs. There we go. The baby got in here. Nice. Come on. You, you One at a time. One at a time. You kidding me? Okay, one of you is already there. You go, piglet. Come on, get um. There you go. Got the piglet. Literally one at a time. Just come on. You kidding me? There you go. And there you go. Okay, now the piglet follows. All right. Okay, I am feeling great. I am feeling great about this. Are you guys ready to to multiply again? Are you guys ready? Yeah, I think you are. All right, fantastic. All right, just make some more piglets. Do what you need to do. Cows, here's some wheat. Do what you need to do, too. There you go. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, get out of the way, you pig. There you go. All right. Oh, now that's all over with. Now we can just bring the chicken over on that singular leash. Uh, there you go. That shouldn't be too hard at all. Like, he is just the chicken. Let's see, where is he? Hopefully he's not, like, on the roof or something. Oh, oh, he's still in his, his pen. Like a normal... Really good behaving chicken. Come on, get out of the thing. There you go. You laid another egg. Let's go. Once we get to the pen, let's go throw that egg on the ground and see if you got a see if you got a baby there, little chicken. Come on, over here. Come on, you ch chicken. Come up oh, there. You go. Just uh, don't mind me. I'm just walking my chicken. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on, you little chicken. Into this pen. This is yours. Get in. Get, oh, yep, there you go. There you go. All right, I can't multiply you. I'm sorry, there's only one of you, so... Unless this egg... Nope. Ah, no luck. Ah, uh, whatever. Well, man, all these trees really makes this feel good. I, I really feel at home right now. All these trees, all the grass, everything is just great. Except for that volcano, you know, there's just a straight-up volcano on our front lawn, but whatever. <laughs> whatever, I don't care about the volcano right now. Okay, let's put all this valuable stuff up. There we go. Pretty good amount of stuff, actually. Yeah, look at this. We have a lot of stuff. Actually, we can 
probably use all this stuff and get some cellulose. Yeah, let's do that. Let's fill our inventory up with some wood and get some cellulose from all this. There we go. Throw that into the uh, chemical whatever it's called. Do we have anything in our backpack? Nope. Except for one sapling. Yeah, okay. Yeah, look at all these chemicals and stuff. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, man, I'm loving this. Except for the fact that this, like, uses, like, all of its power immediately. <sighs> Whatever. I don't I don't care. It's not a big deal for me. Oh, uh, we need to get more gold if we want another golden apple. Whatever, let's put that up. Put all that up. Uh, is there anything else I can make here? There should be a recipe thing here, right? Like, no recipe. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, chemical. Oh, wow, look at all these. Boah! I can make chemical mine chem buckets and stuff. Oh, gee, that's a ton of stuff. <laughs> oh, speaking of buckets, maybe we can go... What What would we get from lava? From the mine chem thing. Fluid transposer. Casting table. I guess nothing. Lava. Fluid transposer. That's, that's this thing, right? Yeah. So I guess you can't get anything from lava. Huh, okay. Magmatic ore, blah blah blah. Yeah, I guess we should make more, uh, how do you make it? How do you make the sucrose? I forgot about it already. So it's just, uh... So yeah, 75% chemical decomposer to get sucrose from sugar. But I already used that sucrose. Huh. Let's see. Check this. Go to the chemical synthesis. So yeah, 1221 or 1222 11. We can do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's uh, let's actually fill. Let's rearrange that. 12, 22, 11. Oxygen. I don't need that extra oxygen. Hydrogen. Carbon. That's chlorine. Where is straight carbon? Do I not have carbon in here? Oh yeah, that's from coal. Forgot about that. So 12. 12, 22, 11. Let's actually. There we go. Hydrogen. There we go. Oxygen. Fantastic. 22. Alright. There you go. And 11. Alright, let's get some more sucrose. Two more sucrose. Nice. Okay, so... To get this... To get the, uh, the, the thing, you need sucrose, two hydrogen, one oxygen, right? Right? I don't... Maybe? I don't know. Let's check it again. For the billionth time... H2O, sucrose. Oh wait, I put two sucrose there, whoops. There we go, sugarcane and sugarcane, nice. Okay. God, this is such a cool mod. This is so cool. I, if I knew about this mod at the beginning, I probably would have done this as my first mod, because this gives you a ton of stuff. I'm like, I guess right now it's, it's giving me a ton of stuff, because I have like a million things already in the game, but <gasps> our sugarcane has grown. Nice. Oh, look at that tree. That is a really good tree. That's really, that's a nice sized tree. Alright, there we go. Get our sugar canes up and running, but... I don't, I don't know if I want this, this slime thing here. I kind of, maybe we can turn this into the, uh, the reservoir. And we can just have a little slime area over here, maybe. I don't know. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know, because we already dedicated a lot of stuff over here to... To the slime stuff. So, if we get all this, fill that up, put it all in our backpacks, get all the buckets back. See, can we pick all these up? We can't. No, we can't. But we're pretty close. One, two. So, I just need to put blocks right there where I'm looking. And there we go. That's the end of that. So, yeah, I guess I'll turn this into the water reservoir, then move this one somewhere else. Maybe over here. I, I don't really mind. I don't. I don't, I don't think I'd, I'd mind too much. Eh, yeah. Maybe I'll put it over here. Actually, over here. Yeah, this isn't bad. There's like a crater right here that I never fixed, but uh, yeah, we can do it over here. Let's do it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Let's kind of fix that. And let's cut down this tree. Can we cut this down with tree cat? Oh, nice. Nice. Too bad it doesn't give us, like, apples and stuff. I thought it would have. Alright, let's see. Let's start digging out a pretty decent si- Eh. 
I don't, yeah, this is pretty good size. I don't need it to be too, too big. Let's pick up all the, uh, I can throw an elk sap. I, I, <laughs> it's so weird because like earlier in the series, I wouldn't be like, eh, an oak sapling, eh, throw that away, right? <laughs> I wouldn't be like that. I'd be the exact opposite of that. I'd be like, oh my god, an oak sapling? That is so rare. So let's see. So we can do this. And yeah, that's a that's, that's a pretty good size, yeah. Alright, let's uh, start placing these down. So there's that. And we can stack these buckets on top of each other, no problem. We'll throw the buckets like so. And reorder this stuff so we can have the, enough room down there for the buckets. And I hear you, zombie. I know you're there. I know you're there. And let's just do it in order so we don't forget which ones we've already put slime stuff on. Yep, there we go. That's the slime thing nice and finished. We can just dig down into the ground, make that thing a little bit deeper if we really wanted to. Alright. Eh. Eh, it's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright. So we can still get some slime whatever's from that, no problem. And then over here... We can just get rid of that. We don't really want more of that. At least not right now. We just need to go pick up some water from our infinite water pool over here. And then bring them over here. And yeah, look at that. It's already, it's already spawning the slime down. Nice. And then we can just bring the water over here and, and do it like that. I think I'll do that on my own because that, that seems like it'll take a lot of time. And I don't, I don't want to waste time in this right now. I've already done a ton of stuff lately. So feeling great about that. Get some more of these essence barons. Might as well. Might as well. And let's throw these in the chest next to the enchantment table. Nice. Uh, zombie head. Yeah, we need that for something. I don't remember what it's for. Usage for the zombie head. So that. Ugh. Nutrient distillation. Ugh. Enchanter. Oh yeah, we need. We should make an enchanter. I saw that. And uh, that's how you can get like really cool enchantments and stuff. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's make an enchanter. How do you make that? That's easy, I think. Dark steel. Okay, so how do you get the dark steel? Obsidian, pulver... We might have some dark steel in here, actually. Dark steel... Oh, yeah, just one dark steel. How many do we need? We need five. So we need... Or four. We need three more. So that, you get obsidian, pulverized coal, and iron ingot. We already have coal powder. There you go. And an iron ingot, right? Yeah. Of course. Why everything takes iron ingots. Let's just throw that into this thing. Yep. Oh yeah, look at all that stuff we have there already. Uh let's see. Pulverized that. Blah blah blah. Hopefully that, yeah, that's not cooking just yet. And let's Do we have obsidian already in here somewhere? No, not seeing it. Uh, I guess this would be a pretty good opportunity to show off my obsidian miner right here. It's basically an obsidian hammer with 150 out of 150 redstone modifiers, so the uh, the mining speed is 11.2 on that, which is really good. I did get a tip from someone. Let's fill this up with water. To fill up our... To, like, place down some water, and then whenever we're mining for obsidian, just wait for the thing to break, and then the water will automatically extinguish all the obsidian so you don't fall in and die. So that's a pretty good tip. Let's go. Let's go see how that works. Oh, zombie villager! Zombie villager, I see a zombie villager. Oh my god, we need to lure him in at our area. This will be fantastic. Come on, zombie villager, where are you at? Hopefully you're on right ground. I think I see you. <gasps> oh, I see you. Oh, you see me too. Let's zoom in. There we go. Come on over here, zombie villager. You are going to be a villager really soon. Do we have any cobble? Yes, we have cobblestone walls. Fantastic. Oh, god, that hurt. No, it didn't. I have like no damage from that. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot I had like two extra hearts. Oh man, you're just bumping me around, it hurts so bad. Come in here and fight me like a man, you dumb, dumb zombie villager. And close that. Oh, yep. <laughs> I think you know what's gonna happen now. I'm gonna trap you where I had tra trapped the original zombie villager. Come on. Come on. Oh no, I'm so helpless. I hope you don't come into my corner and start- Oh my god, he's actually doing damage! Oh my god. Actually. Oh man, that actually did a lot of damage. <laughs> I should not have done that. Okay, come here, zombie villager. And there's that. And oh no, uh, 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 there I got him. Oh my god, we have like no health. <laughs> oh, worth it, worth it. Ah, uh, there you go. All right. So we need to we need to heal you. 
We're going to heal you here in a bit, little there. So, what do we need? We need the... Where is it? Where did I put it? I thought I put it here. Did I, like, rearrange it? Or something? I think I accidentally re- Yeah, here we go. The splash potion of weakness. And the golden apple. There we go. Oh, we just need one golden apple, actually. Alright. Come on, zombie villager. Let's splash you with some weakness. There you go. You're nice and weak now, and here's a golden apple. Can you get that? I don't think so. Huh! There you go. You gonna... What's gonna happen? Is that gonna work? Come on. Huh! Yeah, there you go. That gonna... I think you're supposed to just... Come on, don't hit me like that. I'm trying to heal you. Oh, there you oh, You're supposed to right-click him. Okay. All right, now he's... Now he's being converted. All right. Well, ah, I'm feeling... I'm feeling pretty good. He's gonna take, uh... Two or three minutes, I think, to convert. So, let... I'm like, he's already in a pretty safe spot right there. Guess I might as well take advantage of him just sitting still like that to just do that. There we go. And do that. Actually, I could... Yeah, that's a pretty good spot right there, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, so we can name him. We can put a sign right there with his name on it. So leave a comment down below what we should name our first villager whenever he's healed. Leave a comment down below and uh, whatever one I like the most, I'll put a put a sign there and we can name him Bob or whatever you guys decide to name him. So that'll be pretty cool. Definitely looking forward to that. Definitely looking forward to see what he has to trade and what type of villager he's going to be, etc, etc. Man, it's going to be so cool. These are exciting times in End of Earth. These are very good times. Ah, oh, man, this, like, I don't know, probably 10, 10, 20 episodes from now, like, or 10, 20 episodes ago, you can compare that video to this video, and there would be so much different, like, we might not have even have grass here, let alone, like, our building, I, I think our building has been built for longer than that, I guess, <laughs> we wouldn't have our roof, we wouldn't have all this Galacticraft stuff set up, we wouldn't have uh, all these machinery, getting unlimited power, and uh, whatnot. So let's go downstairs like I was originally trying to do. Get ourselves some obsidian. And we can get that dark whatever it's called. Come on. Come on. It, it shouldn't take too long for you to become a regular old villager. I think by the time we, uh, we're done getting obsidian, he'll be a regular villager and it'll be fantastic. Hopefully he doesn't despawn. If he does, I'd be pretty sour, but I'm like, we have enough materials where we can get another zombie villager and just you know, splash him with a splash potion, give him a golden apple, and you will be good to go, no problem. So let's see. We need to go through here. Because of that quarry, I like mine so deep in that quarry, like, I can't go in my usual path to go to my lava, I have to like go around that giant quarry hole in the ground, so... Okay, let's go over here. Uh, there's nothing up there. And... I've already mined a pretty significant amount of obsidian from over here, so... Uh, let's start doing it over here, actually, yeah. So let's put some water up there, so it actually spreads a good amount. And it's pretty dark, so let's, uh, get some torches so I can actually see. Yeah, there we go. Let's make sure we get the middle obsidian. And let's mine that. And hopefully, they don't fall into the water. Oh, did they, f did they do it? Did they, I think they did. I think they fell into water. No, wait, we have nine obsidian. Fantastic. Didn't lose a single one. Nice. All right, let's do that again. Do we get the uh, the middle one? I think we might have. All right, come on. Let's do it. Another nine obsidian. Nice. Nice. Oh, fantastic. Okay, let's grab that water back. We have we have enough obsidian now. Let's head back to the thing. Throw that into the, uh, what was that? The cell? Oh, that's a witch. Right until like the soul oh, god he got me anyways or she got me. <laughs> uh it didn't drop anything useful. Sour. Oh man. God. Oh, what am I gonna do? I'm losing half a heart at a time. Not like I have insanely good health and stuff right now. Uh alright, let's head back up. Let's see if our zombie villager guy's done uh doing what he has to do. And maybe God, that witch almost did just kill us right there. <laughs> and maybe we'll uh have a have a regular old vill Oh my god, I can see he's on a mini map. We already have a regular villager. Oh, let's go see what he has to trade. This is fantastic. I am Huh. I could hear that. I could hear that. Huh. Huh. What kind of Oh, he's a uh he's the he's the librarian one. He's a Dr. Treoris villager from the Diamond Minecart. Let's see, what does he have? Oh, he has adventure backpacks. Villager backpack. What? What? 
that's pretty that's pretty cool but ah uh, not that good of a trade i'm sorry it's a bit too specific for me villager but you know what you are you are a special type of villager our very first villager in end of earth and probably the the only villager alive on this planet right now <laughs> but uh what were we going oh yeah we need to put this into like the sag mill or whatever it's called no nope, alloy smelter throw some obsidian in there and we should get some dark steel and what were we going to use that for again uh, oh yeah the enchanter thing yeah and uh two diamonds one book yeah that, that'd be pretty easy okay so we just need two diamonds there's two diamonds right there. Let's see, how's our dark steel doing? Oh, just one so far? Yeah, it's going to take quite a while for that to for that to do what it needs to do. Let's throw our oxygen and whatnot in there. All right, so I think our pigs and stuff should be ready to mate now. Yeah, they should be. And uh, I need to go work on that wheat farm so I can get some more wheat and uh, mate the cows together a lot more often. Because I only have two wheat right now, I can only mate them like one more time and then I'm out of wheat forever. So, definitely need to go plant some. Alright, so let's go harvest all these. And we can, I guess we can put the enchanter over here. I don't, I don't know, yeah, we don't need to put it over here. We can just put it in the lab, that, that'd that be fine with me actually. Yeah, we can put it in the lab, yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. So, let's see, what else were we going to do? We were going to, I don't know, we can just put up some of this random stuff we have in here. <laughs> And uh, especially that obsidian mine, that is pretty epic, isn't it? I'm like, that is so good. Let's go multiply our farm animals. Eat a baked potato. Nom nom nom, delicious. All right, so yeah, if we get another one, that would be great. And then uh, I don't remember how, I don't remember how you mate villagers pre 1.8. So I'm probably gonna have to look that up. So we can actually get some, you know, more villagers and hopefully better, better trades as well. So let's see. Pig, pig. Come over here, pigs. Come over here. Get some lovin'. Get some lovin'. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to. There you go. All the pigs are in love today. What was it Valentine's Day for pigs? I don't know. Oh, get out of the. Ah, yeah, there you go, pigs. Yeah, get out of the way. All right. So let's, let's go check up on our dark seal. It should be done by now, hopefully. And if not, eh, whatever. Oh, man. Look at that. That is so cool. We have a village. I. 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 I I'm thinking maybe that'd be pretty cool if we can line this whole inner area up with some villagers. Like we'd have villager and then villager, 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 and then just this whole entire inner room would just be full of villagers. That would be so cool. All right. Well, let's see. Oh yeah, this thing, dark steel for, yeah, we have exactly enough to get the enchanter. Oh yeah, we need a book. We need to go back to the enchantment area and get ourselves a bookaroo from here. And there you go. All right, so we just need a book, this, and there you go, and diamonds, right? Nope, I did it upside down. Uh, there we go. Enchanter, nice. Uses XP to combine items and a book and quail to create enchanted items. Nice. Okay, so this is where we're going to get Silk Touch, which is going to be pretty cool. But I guess I put it right there, no problem. And book and quill. You need feathers for that, though. Ink sack and feathers. So let's see, book and quill. Is there a way to get feathers? Oh yeah, of course, the chemical synthesis machine. Why wouldn't there be a easier way to get feathers? So you need nitrogen, water, and some more nitrogen. So what do you get nitrogen from? You can get it from nitrogen dioxide, but what do you get that from? Chemical bucket. Is there anything else? Oh, I can just, yeah, nitrogen and oxygen, but... I can't get straight ox or straight nitrogen from anything else. Huh. I don't know. Bookshelf corner. Oh, that's from the microblocks thing. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now I hear a zombie. Where is the Oh no! Stay away from him. Oh my god. Okay. Ugh, I don't want him to get infected again. How did he even get in here? I don't know. Well this door needs to be closed. I guess I need to start putting pressure plates on all these doors and stuff. I need to make a door in general right here. I don't even have a door there. All right. Well, I think right now we've got a ton of stuff done. I think I'm going to be good enough to leave off for right now. Like, gee, ton of, ton of progress, ton of good work done. And yeah, the, the thing that we're going to be leaving off the episode with is just us making a wooden door. So anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, 
be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on your YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more End of Earth. Oh, bye there.